Welcome back to another year of WCSN. I'm Haley Akers. And I'm Carly Dixon. Carly, can you believe we're seniors this year? I can't. It's going by so fast. It really is. On today's episode, we'll be covering the dedication of the new band building, as well as providing some information on upcoming events and a recap of all the sports events that have happened so far. This year, you may have noticed a crop of new structures popping up. To provide some in-depth information on our Marching Tigers new home is band and WCSN member Noah Rexroad. When you attend any football game, parade, basketball game, or assembly, you are guaranteed a quality performance by the Waverly Band. You may have noticed a new structure in the downtown stadium facility. On September 6th, the band members celebrated the dedication of this, the new band building. Members of the community, parents, and students gather to celebrate the grand opening of the facility. The building contains restrooms, storage areas, a music library, and a full warm-up area that easily fits the 80 band members. Uh, during any downtown event, football games, parades, basketball games, pep rallies, this is the band room when we're downtown. Um, since our other band room is at the school, uh, this is the place where we will be able to keep instruments, extra uniforms, um, show videos of our performances, and warm up for basketball games, warm up for football games, and just, like I said, kind of like the headquarters of the band for everything downtown. Superintendent Bill Hoover, school board member Josh Ramey, and current band director Zach Ross spoke to the crowd about the legacy of the band and the level of excellence continually displaying by the students. We're very proud of our band, and this excellence is going to continue in this building, and we're really proud to be able to say that. Band members share in the excitement of the facility they consider their new base camp. It means new memories, new experiences. We can finally have heat and AC, and it won't be miserable in the summer and the winter. <laughs> The band members and staff would like to thank the school board, the community, the parents, and all the supporters of your Waverly Band. Come see us Friday night at the football game. Thank you, Noah, for those insights. I just love our marching band. Watching the halftime show is one of my favorite parts of football games. I don't really know what my favorite is. Waverly has so much going on this time of year. I love our extracurriculars, but sometimes they're just too hard to keep up with. Well, then it's a good thing Jillian's here to talk about upcoming events. If you haven't had a chance to see the band perform yet and you would like to support a good cause, come, <laughs> come to town Sunday at 1 p.m. to see the band march in the Hunger Walk. The Lit Club is performing a show called The Witch Trials. If you're interested in performing for the Lit Club, make sure to attend auditions next week on the 18th and the 19th. For more information, please contact Ms. Hall. Homecoming tickets will be available in the office starting Monday, September 16th. Single tickets are $10 and duos are admitted for $15. Keep in mind that Monday, September 23rd is a teacher and service day, so students, we have the day off. Wow, sounds like a busy fall. Yes, most definitely. And so much has already happened with the sports since the first day of school. Here to tell us about our teams, we have Paige O'Brien and Max Monroe. First, we want to say a big congratulations to our girls' tennis team for being SOC champions for the second straight year. The team is looking forward to league and tournament play beginning on September 24th. You can catch them Monday, home versus Benton County at 5 p.m. The girls' and guys' cross-country teams have been finding success this year at their meets. The girls' team is led by sophomore Paisley Turner, while the boys' team is led by senior Dallas Downs and sophomore Gabe Clifton. The teams must compete at Eastern Invitational this Saturday at 9 a.m. Coach Henshaw is very proud of her young group and the progress that they are making. The current record is 4-8. and eight. The volleyball team is home next week, the 16th versus Westfall and the 17th versus Minford. Girls and boys golf have had a day, but a very hot season. The girls are led by senior Avery Nathan, while the boys are led by junior Caden Corkerton. League tournament play for the girls begins on September 17th and for the boys on September 18th. 
Our ladies soccer team currently has a record of 2-6. and six. With a new coach this year, Madison Belt, the team is focused on continuing to improve with every practice and game. Come support the ladies team on Thursday, September 19th at home versus Willersburg at 5.30. Also having a year of growth and development is our boys soccer team. The record of 0-7 to seven does not reflect the amount of Tiger pride and effort that the team has put in. The boys will be home this week versus West on the 17th and versus Wheelersburg on the 19th. The football team has had three non-conference games so far and the record is 2-1. Conference play begins this week as we hit the road to Lucasville Valley Friday night at 7 p.m. Thanks for the sports recap. For more information about school and community events, stay tuned in to WCSN. Wait, what? Okay, can we just like, all right, go from the top. Pants for the second. Oh my gosh, this is so. The football team has had their not. Oh my gosh. If you're interested in performing. T T T L G L. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.